Well, at least that's a good start. Well, it seems like this is my show now. A show of just reading this entire wiki page of strength training. Shoot, I even haven't changed it because what is it? I just. It's just the same. It's just the same content as always. Just reading this page uh, again. And the only difference now is that I'm just gonna be talking for the majority of not just this page, but anything related to string chaining, like cir circuit static, along with how it relates to what is it, body weight and calisthenics. And, you know, uh, Trying to give some thought, trying to read out some suggestions I point out. Why? How does strength training entirely benefit for elderly people who have not exercised at all in their lives? I talked a little bit about it, and it was actually very interesting. What was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it was pretty much the first one on increased general physical health along with rehabilitation or to address impairment, which is also referring to utterly. Yes. Anywho, let's just finish up this page. Yeah, we talked about sex and exercising with sex differences. Finished off with weight loss, and now we're on to history. We only have what this left. Pretty much, that's it. <clears throat> so, anywho, history. Until the 20th century, the history of strength training was very similar to the history of weight training. With the advent of modern technology, materials, and knowledge. The methods that can be used for strength training has multiplied significantly. Oh. Mm. Hip. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Shoot. Hippocrates. Damn a movie. I also keep on mistakenly was that Socrates with Socrates. What, what, what was it? They, they had a latest third movie uh, this year. Shit, I can't remember the name. The one with Keanu Reeves and the other person. Anywho, does this. No, it doesn't have pronunciation. Man, I kept on always saying his name during history class back in high school. But let me look at. Hi Hippocrates. Hippo okay, I think it's Hippocrates. 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 No, US. Hippocrates. Oh, Hippocrates. So Hippocrates. <laughs> Fees with hippo as the animal. Oh yeah. There's also one here too, along with the seal. So let me seal the deal with hippo crates. Hip hip cart oh shoot, I'm messing up, man. Hippocrates. Hip hip cart I pronounced it before, shoot. Hippocrates. 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 So, Hippocrates. Hippocrates. Not hippo. Hippocrates. Let's see what you was looking at. Hippocampus. Hippocrates. Hippo. 
Socrates, Hippocratic Oath, yada yada yada. Anyway, Hippocrates explained the principle behind string training when he wrote that which is develops and with which is not used wastes away. Quote, end quote. Referring to muscular hypertrophy and apotrophy. Progressive resistance training dates back at least to ancient Greece when legend has it that wrestler Milo O. Croton trained by carrying a newborn calf on his back every day until it was fully grown. Another Greek, the physician Galen, described strength training exercises using the haptorphies. Haptorphies, an early form of dumbbell. In the 2nd century, ancient Persians used the meals, which became popular during the 19th century as the Indian club and has recently made a comeback in the form of the club bell. The dumbbell was joined by the barbell in the latter half of the 19th century. Early barbells have had hollow globes that could be filled with sand or lead shot. But by the end of the century, these were replaced by the plate-loading barbell commonly used today. Strength training with osometric exercise was popularized by Charles Atlas from the 1930s onwards. The 1960s saw the gradual introduction of exercise machines into the still rare strength training gyms of the time. Strength training became increasingly popular in the 1940s following the release of the bodybuilding movie Pumping Iron and the Quinn popularity of Arnold Schwarzenegger. So here, this big picture of a man. Arthur Saxon performed a two-hand anyhow with an early kettlebell and plate-loaded barbell. Saxon. That, that, that's the last name I, I don't hear about. But there is plenty of people who are named Saxon, but they usually just don't say the last name, or at least a shortened version of it. Hmm. Anywho, hmm. yeah, do I have his name here? I don't know why. Arthur Saxon, born Arthur Hinding and nicknamed the Iron Master, was a German strongman in the circus performed from the late 19th century early 20th century Saxon is the Saxon is best known for the bent press they lift which he is far superior to many other strongmen hmm it's a great idea of strong men no timey whining you have really buff guys just a man pumping iron I keep on hearing this so many times Pumping Iron is a 1977 American docudrama about the world of professional bodybuilding with a focus on the 1975 IFBB Mr. Universe and 1975 Mr. Olympia competitions. I thought there would have been more bodybuilding um, documentaries, movies, such and such before the 70s, I don't know, before the 80s. But then again, people really did do rec recreation running from like what to the 60s, so <laughs> interesting. But then again, Arthur Saxon was a performer in a circus because bodybuilding was just a, as they said before, a freak show. Because it was a different time. Oh yeah, I can even say I went to a circus. Which hope he hasn't gone through. And that was just completely by accident. And I love that I went there, not even knowing that I would have enjoyed it years, years later. Anywho, special populations, safety concerns related to children. Orthopedic specialists used to recommend that children avoid weight training because the growth plates on their bones might be at risk. So. Orthopedic, I always get my thinking of child doctor, but what is it? Orthopedic surgery or orthopedics, also spelled orthopedics. Okay. Is the branch of surgery concerned with conditions involving the musculoskeletal system? Okay. So, physical muscular system, such. 
Well, that is weird. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like my page is... Well, from looking at Twitch's stream, it's like everything's slow. I'm gonna give me the indication that it's buffering. Yet, this freaking icon says excellent. Over here, there's no issues from OBS, so... Yeah, I haven't saw that before. Now that just complicates things. I have to look at three things, which I don't believe they don't do much of any help. <sighs> Alright, stream. This is just the stream in life. Anywho, the very rare reports of growth plate fractures in children who train with weights occurred as a result of inadequate supervision in proper form or excessive weight and there has been no reports of injuries to growth plates in youth training programs that follow established guidelines the position of the national strength and conditioning association is that strength training is safe for children if properly designed and supervised younger children are at greater risk of injury than adults if they drop a weight on themselves or perform an exercise incorrectly Furthermore, they may lack understanding of or ignore the safety precautions around weight training equipment. As a result, yeah. as a result supervision of minors is considered vital to ensure the safety of any youth engaging in strength training. Onward to Australia's stance on pre-adolescent strength training. Strength training is the fourth most popular form of fitness in Australia. Due to its popularity among all ages, there is great skepticism on what the appropriate age to commence strength training in young athletes is. Some points of the opposing view of strength training in young adolescents are stunt growth, health, and bone problems in later or ladder. <laughs> well, we fancy as a ladder, so in later stages of life and unhealthy eating habits, studies from Australian experts that have been recognized by the Australian Institute of Sport AIS have debunked these myths. There is no link between any prolonged health risks and strength training in pre-adolescence if the procedures of strength training are followed correctly and under suitable supervision. Strength training for pre-adolescents should focus on skills and techniques. Children should only work on strengthening all the big muscle groups using free weight and body weight movements with relatively light loads. The benefits of these practices include increased strength performance, injury prevention, and learning good training principles. For older adults, older adults are prone to loss of muscle strength. With more strength, older adults have better health, better quality of life, better physical function, and fear of falls. Fewer falls. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> It's just that fall. In cases in which an older person begins strength training, their doctor or healthcare provider may neglect to emphasize that a strength training program with which results in muscle gains. Underdose strength training programs should be avoided in favor of a program which matches the abilities and goals of the person exercising. In setting up an exercise program for an older adult, they should go through a baseline fitness assessment to determine their current limits. An exercise program for older adults should match the intensity, frequency, and duration of exercise that the person can perform. The program should have a goal of increased strength and compared to the baseline measurement. Recommended training for older adults is three times as a... Hold up. Hmm... Recommended training for older adults in three times a week of light strength training exercises. Str exercise machines are a commonly used equipment in a gym setting, including treadmills with exercises such as walking or light jogging. Home-based exercises should usually consist of body weight or elastic band exercises that maintain a lower level of impact of the um, yeah. A low level impact on the muscles. 
weights can also be used by older adults if they maintain a lighter weight load with an average amount of repetitions 10 through 12 reps with suitable supervision it is important for older adults to maintain a light level of strength training with low levels of impact to avoid injuries older people who exercise against a resistance or force become stronger progressive resistance training prt also improves physical functioning in older people including the performance of simple eg walking climbing stairs rising for rising from a chair more quickly and complex daily activities eg bathing cooking Caution is recommended when transferring PRT exercises for clinical populations, as adverse effects are unclear. And there we go, yay. We have also have the seat also when it comes to ballistic training, to, 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 to visit culture along with power training. Let's browse through the references, there's a lot of references, along with further reading. So Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Schwarzenegger Arnold, 1999, the new encyclopedia of modern bodybuilding. <clears throat> so after all these years of him actually being a bodybuilder and still being being peaked, he created an encyclopedia. It's awesome. Now this is going back to the content. This is special populations. So. For older adults, elderly than children, you have Australia doing their own thing, but because they have a bigger community and a wide range of children exercising, Jack. Yeah. I want to go back to the history because I do like looking at history. So Hippocrates explained the principle behind strength training when he wrote, quote from Hippocrates, that which is used develops and that which is not used wastes away. So yeah, he refers to the hypertrophy and entropy. So Hippocrates was talking about how to get fit. Let's look at the other ones. When I remember, sex differences in training talks about when it comes to mass gain, toning, and weight loss, along with nutrition. But it's only this thing. So, what is it? Nutrition it is widely accepted that strength training must be matched by changes in diet in order to be effective. Yep, yep. A light, balanced meal prior to the workout, usually one to two hours beforehand, ensures that adequate energy and amino acids are available for the intense bout of exercise. Alrighty. Now, onwards to... Yeah. Briefly talk about ballistic training, contrast, slowing, to other ones which have their own wiki page. Now, exercise for specific muscle groups, we get into that. So practices of weight training, methods and equipment, aerobic exercises versus anaerobic exercise. Oh yeah, oh yeah, going back here. String training exercise is primarily anaerobic. Anaerobic is a type of exercise that breaks down glucose in the body without using oxygen. Yada yada yada. This means that anaerobic exercise is harder but shorter than an aerobic exercise. So anaerobic is more of an intense versus aerobic. Although aerobic metabolism makes a small contribution, weight training is commonly perceived as anaerobic exercise. So this is under weight training. Primarily on weight training. Then we learned about measurements and stuff. Do, 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 do. Yay, technique. Terminology. Realization of training goals. In order to just keep up your technique and measure. And then uses, which. Man, it's a bit confusing the fact that this one's actually up here under uses and. 
not connected to what is it? The population, along with nutrition. Seems like it's pretty backwards. Person me just going under uses, like just jump to technique, which I'm like, well, got me intrigued with learning more about the benefits and such. So, so oh well, that's just me. Anywho, do 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 do. I feel like there is something that's a hyperlink I want to check out. Aerobic? Yeah, I have a went to anaerobic. So this is aerobic exercise. It's a physical exercise of low to a high intensity that depends primarily to the aerobic energy generating process. Do 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 do. Requiring free oxygen versus. Shoot, what was it? I forgot what the other saying was. But anaerobic talked about something, something with oxygen. And it's not here. Oot. Let's go down here to. No, they don't have it here. Shoot. Let me go all the way down to where we left off to aerobic and anaerobic. Alright, got it. So we have it here. Without oxygen versus what it says in aerobic, which is do 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 do. Requiring free oxygen. Hmm, so that could be something people could look at. But, what is it? In, in, what English sometimes when there's a, a word, so aerobic, and there's an an that will be without or no. Something negative. So anyway... What I do want to go to, besides those exercises, is the other ones, like ballistic training. The longer... Hmm. What about power training? There's also other ones, which let me look if they have, if I could see the hyperlink around here. see it here oh yeah, well ballistic training let me just go around around the wiki page see what's it up the uppity up let's go let's see also the power training is here along with complex training along with strength training Anyhow, let's just talk briefly about this. Ballistic training. Oh yeah, yeah I gotta say. So the reason why I'm going, um, going through here instead of taking my time is because tomorrow um, I'm gonna be start with my Spanish speaking lessons. So on tomorrow I'll have a round. Around a month, so I have to leave to a Spanish speaking country or business. So I figured, hey, I don't I don't know Spanish. At least learning a few phrases to get by, like where's the bathroom? Or excuse me while I'm just shyly trying to just get up get away, especially in crowds. Oh boy, it's gonna be very challenging, but I don't know, I'm, I'm just stuck in this situation. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna be spending the time just learning it and see how that goes. Oh, what is it? Oh yeah, well, 
So the whole time, I'm actually going to do it on the stream. So, what was it? Nine. I have an hour to, to study it. So, 9.30 and onward, you, you'll see me still continue to study it and practice. <clears throat> I'm speaking it. So, we'll see how that goes. Well, other than that, yeah. I'm not going to be talking about much about health. Uh, much but never say never I'll definitely come back to it uh -huh. other than that I just have five minutes left just go over these training so ballistic training also called power training so same as here power training typically involves exercises which apply the maximum amount of force as fast as possible so let's see if this has the same definition Ballistic training is a form of training which involves throwing weights and jumping with weights in order to increase explosive power. So yeah, we can see the image here of using the weights and such, along with this person exerting power training on their feet to jump upwards. So on the basis of strength plus speed equals power. So I'm just going to talk about power training go back to ballistic training jumping with weights or throwing weights are two examples of power training exercises regular weight training exercises such as a clean and jerk and power clean may also be considered as a being power training exercises due to the explosive speed required to complete the lifts huh. all right then for power training Power training programs may be shaped to increase the trainee's ability to apply power in general to meet sports specific criteria or both. So yeah, it talks more of the ins and outs versus... Let's go back to ballistic. Do, 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 do. The in ballistic training. The intention in ballistic exercise is to maximize the acceleration phase of an object's movement and minimize the deceleration phase for instance throwing a medicine ball maximizes the acceleration of a ball this can be contrasted with the standard weight training exercise where they would be a pronounced deceleration phase at the end of the repetition i.e at the end of the bench press exercise the barbell is decelerated and brought to a halt similarly an athlete jumping whilst holding a trap bar max maximizes the acceleration and the weight through the process of holding it whilst they jump whereas they would decelerate it at the end of the standard trap bar deadlift mm, that's a lot to take in and versus thrust let's go to metal this combination of high strength exercise with a high speed exercise may lead to an increased ability to apply power so with power training it talks about not just when it comes to ballistic training but also these all the principles when you get into weight calisthenics strength um, because they evolve all with power after all this actually says explosive power which involves with this formula which yeah also when it comes to on equations and formulas they will add things into it so you better know what thing you're adding is about its principles and such anywho last thing is weight training since we kept on talking about that in strength training weight training is a common type of strength training for developing the strength and size of skeletal muscles so for developing so it's a term type it utilizes the force of gravity in the form of weight bars so it's the way you, uh, actually, let me read this for you. Dumbbells or weight stacks in order to post the force generated by muscle through concentric, concentric, concentric and eccentric contraction. Weight training uses a variety of specialized equipment to target special muscles, groups, and types of movement. So yeah, it's a, it's a way they utilize it. You know, power training utilizes so many things. Weight training utilizes a particular thing under strength training. 
so pretty much strength training that will include doing a weight training where you gotta do a specific thing to count as weight training but yeah they, they, they all mix and match and all stuff which yeah and you have all these sports and stuff so this actually would be good with understanding the health um, and physical benefits with doing sports yeah besides just understanding uh, other benefits of sports like community team building stuff like that along with the good old recreational exercise and joyful time anyhow this is it for me I'll come back to the show tomorrow other than that so long